Yo, what up, street gods? Street togs, street vlogs, demigod togs, vlogs. All right, some uh, turbo thoughts for us. So, how to become insanely productive, right? I'm the most productive person I know. I never have an issue motivating myself to do anything. I'm the hype master. Um, how do I do it? And uh, some thoughts. So, first and foremost, uh, I mean, I'll just share some theories. I'll tell you what I do. First of all, intermittent fasting, no breakfast, no lunch. Just a big ass dinner, beef ribs. Eat, go to Costco Business Center, have two beef ribs before you sleep. I can guarantee that you will become uh, much better of a sleeper. The goal is to sleep, like godlike sleep is the goal. Read the Iliad, even the gods sleep at night. So to try to sacrifice sleep is for l -l -l losers, for suckers. Don't be a sucker. Don't be a sucker. Okay. So that's the first thing. Uh, secondly, why is intermittent fasting so effective for productivity? Because A, you don't get food coma. B, you're more alert. C, you just save time. Um, and D, you're just kind of more like mean, green, lean, productivity machine. Um, Think of the wild wolf. When you're actually a little hungry, it actually stimulates your thoughts and to be more focused. Also another pro tip, get the iPad Pro. Get the, I mean, whatever you could afford, M1, M2, M3, M4, M5, M6, whatever comes out, right? Just get the newest one, always just get the newest one. Just get the small size, don't get the big one. The big one is, uh. Like, why do they do that? I'm like, Apple has lost her creative vision. If Steve Jobs was alive today, he'd be so pissed off. But anyways, iPad Pro, iPad, is insanely good for productivity because you can just walk around. I'm walking around downtown Orange right now, vlogging with the ultra-wide camera facing me. I'm just holding this with two hands. But like, the more you can move, the more productive you can be and become, like, I think it's so silly that people work and they try to do stuff while being sedentary. I think that's the ultimate uh, sucker mistake. The ultimate road to maximal productivity is maximum walking and engagement with the world. And that's actually one of the best things about being um, in a kind of more of a downtown area is that the more you walk, the more productive you'll be. So uh, I remember I taught a workshop at in Singapore and it was with uh, like a Singapore and I met this one dude super rich successful uh, kind of older dude um, you know pulls up into the workshop with a at the time M9 what titanium right what $30,000 camera knock deluxe 0.95 <laughs> and I'm just like what is your secret he's just like Whenever I do all my work, all my readings, I'm always walking around all day. I just do everything on my phone. I'm like, huh, that's a, that's a good, that's a good thing. So even think for yourself, right? It's kind of an anti-laptop approach. How could you become insanely productive just by walking around all day, just using your iPad Pro, using your iPhone, whatever? Um, this seems to be the way. Um, Another interesting thought too is, if you want to be more productive, iPhone Pro is actually worse, worse for productivity. Why? Because it's heavier. I mean, 99% of people are just going to be using your iPhone to text, right? If the phone is heavier, you're going to have more fatigue texting with your thumbs. And thus, the smartest strategy is to have the lightest iPhone, which is either an iPhone SE, which I have, or an iPhone mini, which I also bought, initially used it, and I gave it to Cindy. Um, so the ultimate, most superior, superior iPhone for productivity should be the lightest one. Um, and cause I think the iPhone could be a really great productivity tool if used intelligently. Um, but still comparing the iPad Pro and a uh, iPhone, get an iPad Pro, don't get iPhone Pro. The iPad Pro is insanely good for productivity the more I use my 
iPad Pro and just walk around, the more productive I am, the happier I am, etc. Um, also, some pro tips. <laughs> Don't use email. Email is the ultimate killer of productivity. It's funny because people's like, don't do meetings. I'm like, just don't do email. <laughs> don't use email. Use something else. Figure it out. Uh, I'll f don't worry, guys. I'll figure this out. I'm working on it. Um, so, so that's good. Um, also, to be productive means to produce, to make. Productivity ain't being a super ninja warrior with your email inbox zero. Like, that is not productivity. That's just like being an insanely responsive servant slave, right? Like, if you check your email inbox more than, okay, just think about the same. How many times do you refresh your Gmail every single day? Once, twice, three times, 10 times, 100 times, 200 times, a million times, right? Or better yet, do you even have email on your phone? Don't, don't do it, bro. It's actually funny because uh, even when I was like, how old was I? Um, I was... Straight out college, 21 years old, yeah. My first smartphone was a HTC Evo 4G, I think. And at the time, the notion of putting your work email on your phone was considered an insanely bizarre thing. Like, nobody did that. Only maybe the CEO did that, and everyone's just like, that's weird. And even for a long time, I really uh, fought with the idea of getting a smartphone. At the time, I didn't have a smartphone. I asked everybody whether I should get one. I still remember I signed up with Sprint. Um, and I would actually say, truth be told, an iPhone and a smartphone or a phone with internet connectivity is a net negative for productivity. So the best way to become more productive is actually, ironically, using um, an iPad Pro or something like that that does not have access to internet and stuff like that. Um, also with productivity, just don't edit your stuff. <laughs> like, like, what did it mean to edit? It means to, you know, kind of give it another proper read through and stuff. Like, I mean, the only big issue is like when you do typos that might be misconstrued for something else. So um, a lot of the writing I do now on IE Writer and the iPad Pro, I use the voice dictation built into the Apple keyboard um, or built into the iPad iOS keyboard, the voice dictation, you know, the little microphone button. It's really accurate, even though you don't have an internet connection, it, it works wonders. Um, yeah, shout out to the iPad team, iPad Pro team. Y'all's the goats. Y'all's the goatest goats of them all. Um, and yeah, even if you have to do email, or just voice dictate your emails, or better yet, like, you know, I think more people should just use iMessage with work colleagues and fellow collaborators, just like, send them a video recording kind of like a snapchat like snapchat if they were smart they would do more business like business meetings or business partners just send snapchats to each other a it's much more warm it's fun it's friendly email is just so cold and stale and whatever's but anyways um also it seems to be good to if you want to be maximally productive don't stay at home home is b -b boring be in some sort of downtown city urban area-esque where you get lots of nice natural light you see all the pretty peoples engage with people have fun etc coffee shops tend to be good you overhear the conversations there's this notion of stochastic resonance in which um having a small amount of distracting background noise is actually quite stimulating to us so that's why, for me at least, I can never be productive while I'm just like a super quiet library. Even libraries are good though, at least you got other human beings. So being around other human beings will actually make you more productive. Um, other thoughts? Uh, maximum time in the sun. I think the sun and natural light and the elements is actually the best stimulant. Even better than coffee and caffeine. Um, and so even for me during the winter time, you can see sleeveless yo how did ek get so swole because i'm on the roids no i'm not i'm not, I'm not taking roids. <laughs> actually the funniest thing is do you know how somebody's really taking steroids or not 
if somebody's joking and says I'm on steroids, they're they're not on steroids. Cause like it sounds really, really on the juice or the steroids, right? They won't even use the S word. <laughs> uh, or or if you want to see if somebody's on steroids, see somebody flexing in the mirror in the bathroom of the men's gym. Say, hey bro, you look great. What cycle you on? And they just like look at their faces. It's like, it's like, do you see the gears turning? <laughs> Um, cause actually people who really take steroids, they have uh, all this funny, like gear, I think gears that it's like, it's like, you want the gear? <laughs> just, just look at their face. Um, or PewDiePie says, you dip into that gummy bears, eat one, maybe two. And also the reason we should not trust the rock, Dwayne, the rock Johnson, dude, this guy is so disingenuous. He's like juicing his eyeballs out and, you know, doing interviews for men's fitness saying like how do you still stay so swollen dedicated at age 50. he's like i'm on the juice he's like i work really really hard oh, and also on the juice should be the the correct answer and then you're like and this is where the these magazine writers have no spine right if i was the interviewer i mean it would take a lot of balls right um <laughs> i would just ask him straight up so do you take steroids or testosterone or other performance enhancing uh, stuff? Don't call it drugs, just call it stuff, stuff. So we should just ask him, like, how come nobody has the balls to ask him? And actually, the people who I respect the most is people who have actually openly admitted that they're taking steroids or whatever, like, um, oh, who's that one dude? Some dude from Australia, I forget his name. But anyways, uh, his, I was watching a bodybuilding documentary it's like it's like staunch i forget the guy's name but anyways some uh, one of his fans asked him like, are you on steroids said, yeah i'm on steroids and i'm like that's that's great and also uh it might have been half thor too who you know someone asked him in an interview are you on steroids right he he admitted it and i'm like wow much more respect to him even um i think arnold admitted he was on the juice um and even the reason why people like ronnie coleman da -da -da, should be Kind of rich enough or whatever is that they've never openly admitted that they're on the juice even uh eddie hall the first dude to deadlift 500 kilos he's i'm sure he was juicing his eyeballs out but he's not many either um yeah so also um don't be for, uh short-sighted so i mean practical tips you know just drink a shitload of coffee during the day during the the morning and stuff like that but uh, have a strict cutoff time, like around noon or something. Even I found that even drinking green tea around the afternoon, around 3 p.m., it actually does interfere with my sleep in a bad way. So, yeah, just um, if it's midday and you're tired, just just take a nap. Don't don't drink more coffee. Just take a nap. That's the best thing you could do for productivity. Just take a nap. Um, there's a saying from Publius Cyrus, once a Roman slave turned velociraptor. He said, even as men sleep they somehow contribute to the world going around, which is uh, kind of a nice thought. Um, and I actually do think it's true. The more productive you are, the happier you will become. But once again, producing is making things, right? Making blog posts, making vlogs, making photos, uh, publishing a lot. The more you publish, the more you put out there, the happier you will be.